I'm Charlie Cosby, the creative director for Farron Ball, and we're here in Paris at the Musée National Picasso Paris for their amazing new exhibition, Picasso Celebration, the collection in a new light, which Sir Paul Smith has art directed and done an absolutely fantastic job using 20 of our colours. The whole um, experience has been absolutely fantastic and uh, very humbling, but uh, to use the Farron Ball colours, it worked really well because um, it's such an extensive range and I'm sort of quite used to, um, you know, playing with colour. So using the colour um, and finding the colour I wanted was, uh, was great. The starting off point was to look through really a lot, I think it was 200,000 artworks um, uh, and it was during Covid so it was online. Look, so the difficult thing is finding the, the uh, imagining the scale yeah. because you, uh, everything looks more or less the same on, on the screen and they have the measurements of yeah. course but you're trying to always, uh, put the rooms together to yeah, start yeah. with. But then I started noticing that there was a lot of uh, paintings that have had stripes yeah. in, in, in it uh, and, and stripes in it. So then I thought, well, I selected six uh, for this room. And then, of course, um, with your paint, I managed to pull out uh, the colours. But the, the key thing was not to paint it in a very graphic way, but to yeah. paint it in a very painterly way. Softer. Yeah, so a softer way. So, But in my phone, you'd see there was um, like lots and lots of trials. No, no, not like that. Oh yeah, this <laughs> oh, okay. is getting, yeah. Well, so this one, yeah. No, they'd started to do it in this very graphic way to start with. And, and then sharp. I said, oh no, I want it more painterly. And that. so then we had to go around and take some of it off with. Uh, Unpainted. But the, the, here we've got, uh, we've got the uh, five different colors of, of paint. Uh, <clears throat> here, just taken from your, you know, your range, which you have anyway. So, and when, that, when you're looking, you know, like that green, for example, could that have been any green, or is it very specific? I mean, I, I'm used to working with colour, so out of the ones that um, you have, yeah. I, I, for some reason, oh, chose that. Your, it's an instinct. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, so, so I, I suppose it's an instinct thing, but I'm, I'm very uh, used to working with colour. Um, in a, in a different way, maybe, because um, when I do my famous stripes, I do them with a piece of cardboard and then yarn and then wrap yarn around uh, because obviously yarn is three dimensional. Yeah, yeah. So when you put them together like that, so the red and the orange, they fight each other. They go like this. Or if you put lemon and white together, yeah. it's more gentle, more yeah, dra yeah. tranquil. So I'm sort of quite used to, um, you know, playing with colour. I love, I think this is really lovely here where you get the stripe with your paint and then the, the stripe with the rug company yeah, carpet yeah. and then you've got the three colours here as well. So you've got the stripe, the colour, the stripe and then you get this lovely vision down there with the, the red, the gloss red at the end. And how, how often do you play with um, finish like that? Uh, um, really yeah, well, in the, the sort of everyday words that get used a lot at work in the design studio is rough and smooth, yeah, yeah. big and small, yeah. uh, kitsch and beautiful. Yeah. So, so a lot. So I mean that, you know, suddenly making that into gloss. And then this is the amazing, which this deep red, which uh, a lot of people are called blood red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, this is a room where, where um, because Picasso um, used to go to a lot of bullfights and uh, so this particular one is the, a very famous painting where it's the, the bullfighter actually just being killed by the, by the bull and so it's rather grotesque the fact that I've <laughs> chosen a gloss red but uh, um, it, it, it's, it's very much about a statement of 
what it's about, really. Yeah, uh, I, I, I felt the whole way going around that this really shows like what the paintings are about or how he was feeling, so you yeah. experience them on a much deeper level. Uh, yeah, and, and, and then, a uh, uh, contrast, these lovely, simple yeah. pen and ink um, uh, works. Well, I love that. The fact he can, he can just use, just do such a simple line and, and then you immediately know it's a matador. I mean, this is an interesting room because this is his late work from 69 yeah, to 72. Yeah. And then this is work when he started to paint very loosely yeah. and uh, a lot more painterly. And a lot of people didn't really like this particular period, especially the critics. But um, it then went on to um, influence young artists a lot, like Basquiat from New York. And, and so it was a period that... Um, even then, at the end, towards the end of his life, he was still influencing, yes, you know, other. And then, obviously, using your colours here and then pulling out colours from the, yeah. you know, from the actual uh, artwork itself. And, and doing the horizontal here, because I wanted to sort of take your eye yeah, we'll around, around, you know, like this. So it's such clever little tricks. <laughs> visual, visual tricks. Yeah. <laughs> we design all our own shops. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm used to working with colour and uh, with um, and also texture and uh, and also I'm used to working from maquettes as well and little yeah, yeah. plans. Um, so this is the, the, the room for the Marinière or the Breton shirt, which he was yeah. famous for wearing, the blue and white. As you see, they've got the, the T-shirts up here. Yeah, but then picking this colour out, um, trying to you know, pick out the colour from the Marinière with one of the... Drawing room blue. <laughs> with, oh, is that the name of the, yeah. the paint? Yeah. And then there's lovely photographs of yeah, him wearing it. Yeah. And then the... the yeah, and then you suddenly change of texture as well, so you've got the grass on the grass. So this is, um, you know, uh, lunch on the on the on, on the grass. Oh, yeah, on the grass <laughs> racing. Yeah, and if you, this period was where he was taking a big influence, uh, you know, from the famous painting, uh, the Manet's masterpiece. So the, the the main painting had a lot of green in it, but here. It was even more green, so immersed all every painting was immersed in green. So it was just so easy for me. I just had to say, we'll, we'll just make the room green. Um, can you tell it? Because I'm just obsessed about these little pops between the rooms. Oh yeah, they. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. So the the idea is that that um, I wanted to. I think in food you call it a palette cleaner. So just these little pops of colour in, in between the rooms so you walk and then it, you're entering this little no man's land for a while and then you're into the green Fresh room the and, and then the, the going into the 1950s room. So I mean this room is just immersed in the green because so the paintings were predominantly green but then that lime 
or whatever you call it. Do you call it lime? Yeah, that's it. It's called yellow kit. Yeah. So that just is a just a way of helping you enter the next room, really. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then this is this is hand painted fifties. These works were um, actually two works that were in in his home. So this is probably one of the most famous Picasso paintings in the world, and extraordinarily valuable. Uh, with the Jacqueline with her hands yeah. clasped, and because every time somebody photographed his home, these would be in the in the living room or wherever. So um, th that was quite interesting. Which is your favourite room? <laughs> I, I, a few people have asked me that and I find it really difficult to answer because they've all got their own character really. I mean the blue room is remarkably uh, simple but it's actually really strong. So effective. Yeah. And also you go from, I don't know whether you noticed, but you go from wooden floor into yeah. carpet. Yeah. So you go there and suddenly it's a lot more, because it's a very melancholy, very yeah. sad room. Um, so suddenly it's a bit disconcerting because you're not on this hard floor. Yeah, I think the room is very dense. Mm. Know, yeah. Like it's heavy with the... This is the sunrise. Because this is, the, is one of his last paintings ever. And then he is, it was the last painting. Yeah. So it's, so it's the idea of life after death and the sun rising. Picasso by a, a living artist and then I just pulled out the colours uh, for, for the room which are, you know, so inspiring the colours together aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's amazing. Mm. Like honestly, for, for us, it's just yeah. so amazing to see how they've been used. There's 20 colours here. So the whole, the, the whole um, experience has been absolutely fantastic and uh, very humbling but uh, to use the Farron Ball colours, it worked really well because um, such an extensive range and I'm a, a little bit of a colour <laughs> colour freak so You'd never yeah, have so, uh, so using the colour um, and finding the colour I wanted was, uh, was great so Well congratulations yeah. And thank you to Farron Ball Thank you <laughs>